welcome back. Today is such a fun day. We are now going from yellow arrows to purple magic. And this is my good friend, Miss Julie. Can you say hello to Miss Julie? We are so excited that she gets to be your new teacher. You're gonna learn so much with her. All right, have fun with Miss Julie. Goodbye. Thanks, Miss Jenny. Oh my goodness, you have learned so many things with her. I am so excited that I get to be your teacher for Purple Magic though. Okay, we're gonna start class kind of the same way we normally do, but this year because we're Purple Magic, I think we need a magic word to help us start class. When I say the magic word, it's gonna sound like this. Abracadabra. Oh my goodness, did you see what happened on the magic word? When you hear the magic word, that's when you'll know to sing. Should we try it? Okay. Abracadabra. Do is home. I'm going to check myself on the keyboard. Do is home. How did you do? Right now, do is C, do, re, mi, fa, F is do. Let's play music, music, music. Let's play music, here we go. We're gonna have a good time, good time, good time. We're gonna have a good time. Bum, bum, bum. What does that sound like? Can you open up your book to page three? Bum, bum, bum. See if you can find it hiding on the page. Do you see something that looks like baby steps going down? Yes, I see it right there. That's our mi, re, do. What about bum, bum, bum? That's a skip, so mi, do. Do you see all of our patterns? I see so fa mi re do. Oh, what about the left hand? What's the first one? Same, same leap. So, so do. And our very last one, baby steps going up. Do you see the baby steps going up? So la ti do. Take a look at our patterns. I'm gonna sit down so I get a closer look. Do you see which of our patterns have a middle C in them? has its own line, like seriously. Do you see? <gasps> Every single one of them has a middle C. What about how many of them have a middle D? I see just a couple. My mi, re, do, and my so far mi, re, do, they have middle Ds in them. Let's see if there's any others that share. How many of them have a mi in them? Again, it's just my ones on the top that have some of these that share, but my so fa mi re do and my so mi do. I love pointing out all the similarities in our patterns. We're gonna have so much fun playing those this year. Okay, are your bubble hands close by? I wanna do a quick review. Where is bubble hands? Where is bubble hand? Here I am, here I am, rounded like a bubble. Fingers flat are trouble. Ready to play, ready to play. Do you feel that great big bubble in your hands? Go ahead and pop them up. <laughs> Does it make that sound when you pop them at your house? Okay, I want your grown up to come take those bubbles out of your hands, but I want you to feel that great big bubble. I'm gonna carefully put mine back on my thing. Let's see if I can keep the bubbles in my hands. <gasps> Okay, I think we should do a review of our finger numbers. Let's make sure we are doing our proper technique. We're gonna have my great big bubble hands. Make sure I have my L-shaped arm. Make sure I'm sitting up nice and tall. And I think we're ready to do a review of our finger numbers. We're gonna start with our right hand, but you can keep both hands here. Where is one? That's your thumb. Here I am, here I am. Where is Here I am. Here I am. 
Kinky's five. Here I am. Here I am. Where is four? Ring is four. Here I am. Here I am. Where is three? Middle's three. Here I am. Here I am. Where is two? Pointers two. Here I am. Here I am. Where is one? That's your thumb. Here I am. Here I am. How do you do? I'm going to let my bubbles float off oh, so I can relax. Do you think you know them all? Are you building those strong muscles in your fingers? It will help it when we're learning all of our new songs this year that those fingers are so strong. What about that forefinger? It's the hardest one for me. How does it go? Is it easy for you? I guess I have to keep practicing. Okay, I wanna do a review of the notes that we know on our staff. We're gonna start with this one and when you see it, I want you to say it and play it and point and pound. What is it? Treble C, 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 what? All right, let's see if I can give another one. What about, be sure you say it and play it and point and pound it. What is it? Basey, 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 what? Did you find it? These should be easy. What about? This one, we know this one. Middle C, 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 what about our treble C, treble C, treble C, treble C? It's not at the beginning like last year. It's kind of in the middle. What about our bass C, bass C, bass C, bass C? Do you see it? It's right underneath where that treble C. Okay, let's see if we can play this. We're going to go out first and then we're going to come in. So we need to remember when are we going to pop. Take a look. One, two, three, pop. Let's try that in the air. I'm going to start with my thumbs touching and we're going to play R and make sure we have our first pitch. We're going to play our ones, twos, threes, and then we're going to pop, make a new bubble, twos, threes, fours, fives. We went out. Do you think we can do that on the piano? Let's try that. So I'm starting in middle C position. My bubble's going to feel like they're butterflies. Let's land both of my thumbs on middle C. Oh, I've, I've got it. Okay, we're going to try it together. Here we go. Ones, twos, threes, pop, make a new bubble. Keep going out. Twos, threes, fours, fives. Look up and down. Are you on treble C and bass C? If so, you did it right. Okay, can we come back? In, let's move to our fours, threes, twos, ones. Uh oh, I'm out of fingers. What do I need to pop with? I'm going to pop with my threes, make a new bubble, twos, ones. If my thumbs make it back to middle C, I did it right. How'd you do? If you want to pause and try it again, you can do that. Otherwise, let's move on. Okay, we are going to grab our songbook and we're going to grab our student magnet board and make sure you grab some alphabet magnets to bring with you. And let's do a review of our music alphabet song. I already have mine on my board. Should we sing it together? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, B, O, But after G comes letter A. As I sing, how smart I get with my music alphabet. How you doing? You feel like you, you're knowing these? Our music alphabet starts with a, what letter? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, 
B. And could we just keep going with that? What would come after B? Yeah. C, D, E, F, G, A, V. Does that kind of look like a snake? Do you think we could keep going with more and more? However many alphabet magnets you have, try to make a big, long snake with them. That'll be so fun. Okay, I want to do a quick review of our white keys. Do you remember which ones are under the group of two black keys and which ones are under the group of three black keys? If you need a quick review, take a peek. Do you think you know? Do you know the ones under the group of two and the ones under the group of three? Close your eyes. Can you still see it in your head? Okay, I'm going to put it away and let's do a review. Let's find a G. Where would a G be? Is it under a group of two or a group of three? Oh, I can see it in my head. It's under a group of three. Oh, let's see. How did we do? Is that where you put your G? All right, let's try another one. How about a D? See, I can see it in my head. I can see it under a group of Let's put a D right. Is that right? Is that where you put your D? All right, let's do another one. How about a B? Where does a B go? Group of three. Oh, it's kind of up on the group of three, isn't it? It's the opposite of one that I really like. A group of three leads to F, yippee, yes. We're getting really good at those. All right, what letters have it? How about an E? Where would an E be? I think it's under the group of two black keys. Is that where an E goes? Yes, have we found them all? Let's do an easy one. We know where C goes. Group of two down one is C. I love it. Very fun, have we found them all? Let's see, C, D, E, F, G. Which one are we missing? Let's find an A. Is A under a group of two or a group of three? I can see it in my head. Can you see it in your head? It's under a group of three black A's. It's right in the middle. The G and the A, they mess me up sometimes. They're kind of tricky. Did you find them all? This reviewing of the white keys is something that we're gonna wanna be practicing every day. Our fingers will have muscle memory, so our scales and our cadences, those happen really easily in our hands, but we wanna make sure that we're so solid on these white keys so that we're ready to play all of these songs in third year. So make sure you're practicing those every day. So we saw how our music alphabet keeps going and going and going. I'm gonna show you another place where it keeps going and going. Can you open up to the back of your books to page 28? This is known as the Grand Staff. It has my treble clef and it has my bass clef. And when you have them together at the same time, it's known as the Grand Staff. Take a look at my Grand Staff. There's a lot of notes. Do you see all my white keys going up and up and up and up and up? Take a look down here at the notes on my staff. Do you see how they go up and up and up and up? What's the very first note? What's the lowest note that you see down in the bass clef? It's a G, way down there it's a G. What comes next? After G comes letter A, yes! Let's keep going, what's next? B, C, we know that one. The second space is C in the bass. Let's keep going. D, E, F, G, A, B. That's not just any B, what B is that? That's our middle B. And then look at middle C. Check it out, what do you think? Is middle C in the treble clef or is it in the bass clef? Can you tell? I think it can be in both. Let's keep going. There's our middle D. You won't normally see middle D like that, but I like how you can see where the middle C line is. All right, let's keep saying them. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of notes. Should we learn them all? We're going to learn them all but it's so many, we're just gonna take a few at a time. So I want you to help me out for just a second. I wanna learn just the spaces in the treble clef. So let's take a look. Let's find, here's my treble clef, and I'm gonna look at the very first space in the treble clef. What letter is that? It's an F. I'm gonna find an F, and I'm going to put it on my first space in the treble clef. Okay, help me out. What's the second space in the treble clef? 
It's a, what'd you find? It's an A, you got it. There's my second space in the treble clef. What comes next? We know this one. Space one, two, three is treble C. Yes, we already knew that one. And then what's the very last space in the treble clef? It's an E. There's just four of those. Do you think we could learn those together? That actually spells a word that spells face. I have a fun song that's gonna help us learn the treble clef spaces. Sing with me. The treble clef spaces are easy, you see. Cause space rhymes with face, so spell F-A-C-E. Did you hear it? F-A-C-E. That will help us learn all of the spaces in the treble clef. To help you learn these, we're going to use our flashcards. Grab your purple flashcards and come back to the floor with me. Mine are over here, and I'm gonna show you how to work these. Okay, on our purple flashcards, one of the most important things is actually the rubber band. Who knew? So I'm gonna take the rubber band off, and this week, I'm gonna show you the only ones we're gonna work on. So go ahead and turn that first card. There's some instructions for us. Do we know that first note? That's one of our middle notes, middle D, so we know that one, we can read. There's our middle C. Remember when we talked about middle C could be in the treble clef or the bass clef? That's what it would look like if it was in the bass clef. And our middle B, do you see that eyebrow looking at me? Ooh, we'll talk about that one a little later. That's another little middle B. And then there's our middle D. You can see that it's sitting above the line of middle C. Then, do you see them? The treble clef spaces are easy, you see. Cause space rhymes with face. When you see this card, I want you to sing that. And then you'll know to sing F, A, third space, C, E. That's it. I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm gonna make sure that I don't try to look at any other notes in my flashcard deck. Those are off deck. I'm not allowed to look at them this week. I'm only going to look at just those notes and you can practice those every day. And every time when you get to the white prompt card, I want you to sing the song. Our treble clef spaces are easy, you see, cause space rhymes with face, so spell F-A-C-E. Yes! Oh, you're gonna have so much fun learning all of your flashcards, learning all of the notes. I'm glad we're taking them a little bit of the time. Ah, I think I'm late. I'm late for school. Do you go to school? Do you know anybody that goes to school? How could I get to school? I could maybe walk to school. I could maybe ride a bus to school, but I'm going to ride my bike to school. Did you see my bike in class? Yeah, it's been hiding there because every day from music class, I'm probably gonna have to go to school. So I'm gonna get on my bike and I'm going to go to school. Would you like to go to school with me today? I'm gonna to get on my bike and I'm gonna put on my helmet because I need to make sure that I'm safe when I go to school and we're gonna go off to school. You wanna come with me? Here we go. I'll see you there. We made it to school and look, who are my classmates? We get to come to school with our bugs. I left my bike parked outside but I have some fun stuff. I bet our bugs are gonna help teach us some new things. What do you think we're gonna get to sing together? Our bugs have great names, they're lots of fun. A bug is a quarter note, it gets one. A slug is a half note, it gets two. It has a little more work to do. A slug plus a dot, that equals three. A dotted half our whole note is our big bad note. Four counts like Bill Grogan's go out. Oh my goodness! We are learning the real names of our bugs. That is so fun. Did you hear what the real name? What about this one? Normally we've called this a, a bug. And did you hear? A bug is a quarter note, it gets one. Look at my bug. 
what do you notice? Not only does it have the body part colored in, but do you see that stick on the side of my bug? That's known as a stem when I see that on the side of my note. That helps me know a bug is a quarter note. It gets one, one. Can you clap and sing that with me? A bug is a quarter note. It gets one, one. What about my next note? Did you hear what its name was? A slug is a half note. It gets two. It has a little more work to do. I can tell it looks like my slug because its body isn't colored in, but notice it also has one of those stems on the side of it. Did you hear how many counts it gets? A slug is a half note. It gets two, one, two. Can you sing and clap that with me? A slug is a half note. It gets two, one, two. It has a little more work to do. Now, I don't know if we've ever seen one like this before. It kind of looks like my slug, so it's like a half note, but then what do you see behind it? Do you see that dot behind it? A slug plus a dot that e equals three. Did you hear what its name was? A dotted half note is its name you see. Yes, did you hear how long it gets held? A slug plus a dot that equals three. One, two, three. Can you clap with me? One, two, three. A dotted half note is its name you see. And then what about the very, very last note? Did you hear about that one? What was its name? Our whole note is our big bad note. How many counts? Four counts like Bill Grogan's go oh, oh, oh. Did you hear its name? Whole note. Say that again. Whole note. Now, when I look at my whole note, it almost looks like a slug because its body isn't colored in. But what is it missing? It doesn't have one of those stems. So when it looks just like a regular old whole, it's a whole note. How many beats do you think our whole note will get? Our whole note is our big bad note. Four counts like Bill Krogan's goat. One, two, three, four. Can you sing and clap that with me? Our whole note is our big bad note. Four counts like Bill Krogan's goat. One, two, three, four. I love that we are learning all of the real names of all of our bugs. I need to teach you about something new. Take a look at this. Do you see how I have my four and my four stacked up on each other? This is known as a time signature. Can you say that word? Time signature. Have you ever seen this in your music? When I see a four, four time signature, the top number helps me know how many total beats I'm going to have in each measure of music that I'm trying to play. So let's explore what that means for us. I'm actually gonna move my notes out of the way for just a second. And I think we should put on our jingles. Can your grown up help you put on your jingles just on your wrist? Because we're gonna clap some rhythms together and I think it will be fun if we make a little jingle jingle magic when we're clapping our rhythms together. Okay, so I said the top number tells me how many total beats I need. How many total beats will I need? Four. Do any of my new notes take up four counts? Yeah, which one? Our whole note takes up four counts. Can we clap that? But before we do that, I actually wanna help us out so we can see where all of those beats line up. Let's see if it really does get four beats. One, two. Do you see how long our whole note is? Our whole note is our big bad note. Do you see? He is really that long. He takes up four beats. Can we clap our whole note together? Here we go. One, two, three, four. What did you notice? I only clapped when I said one, two, three, four. And then we kept holding it for the rest of our four beats. Okay, let's do another one of these. What if I started with my, who remembers the name of this note? This was my half note. How many counts does my half note get? I can see he gets 
two. Hmm, how many more beats do I need so that I have four total beats? What do you think? Should we try our whole note again? How would that look? No, that's way too many. I only want four beats. What else could we do? What if we tried another half note? Would that work? Do I now have four beats? Okay, let's try clapping this together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice. Let's do one more of those. What if I, let's leave my half note there. How about I bring in a, what was the real name of this one? A bug is a quarter note, it gets one. What do you think, is that enough? Do I have four beats? Nope. What could I do so that I have a full four beats? Could we do another quarter note? Did it fill up my four beats? Let's clap this one together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Did we have four beats? Did we fill up in our four, four time signature? Yes, we love it. Counting out loud is the new way it's done, but when we know our bugs, it's much more fun. Our bugs really are so fun. I'm so glad that we get to come to school with our bugs. Is that gonna be so fun to be able to learn all of the real note names and learn about time signatures and everything else with them in class? I love it. Okay, I'm gonna pack up everything. I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna get on my bike and I'm gonna head back to our music class. I'll see you there. <gasps> we made it back. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that I was gonna have bugs in my classroom with me. Take my helmet off, cause I don't need my helmet for my music classroom. What was it like seeing Bugs at school with us? It was so funny. I thought the slug was hilarious trying to sit at his desk. He was having a hard time sitting at his desk. It was so fun. Okay, I'm going to invite a friend to play this next game with me. Can you come play with me? This is my friend Gideon. Say hi, Gideon. I'm so excited. We have a fun game. It's called Bounce and Roll, and I'm going to need my ball to play this. Get your ball and join me on the floor with your grown-up and do what I do. Do you remember in second year when we played Roll That Brown Jug Down to Town? Do you remember that song? And we just went roll, catch, roll, catch, roll, catch, roll, catch, roll, catch, roll, catch. Roll the ball, roll it along, rolling is like a duck, play the smooth song. Yeah, it was just like that. Did it feel like the roll that brown jug down to town? Yeah, did you hear the words it said, rolling is, did you hear what it said? Yes, that's a hard word and you got it. Rolling is legato. Play the smooth song. I think you're ready to try something a little trickier. Stand up with me. What if this time we did bounce, catch? Should we try that? Bounce, catch, bounce, catch, bounce, catch, bounce, catch. Let's try that with the music. Did you hear what it did? What bouncing is, what did it say? Staccato. Yes, can you tell our friends at home? Bouncing is staccato. Staccato, choppy as can be. Did it bounce? Staccato, choppy as can be. Nice, that was such a fun game. What did you like better, the rolling or the bouncing? Which part did you think was better? I'm gonna put our ball away. What did you? The rolling, that was the funnest part for you? Oh, well, thank you so much for playing with me today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for playing with me. That's a fun game. Those words are kind of tricky. Legato and staccato. They kind of sound the same to me. 
I have a new friend that you're going to meet. You are going to love her. Howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all. My name, my name is Edwina. Is Edwina? I am Edna's twin sister. I am Edna's twin sister? Oh my goodness. I love, I love to play the songs, to play the songs that we sing in class together. That we sing in class together. Let's figure out one together. Let's figure out one together. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can figure out what she's wanting me to do. Okay, Edwina told me she wants me to put this on the board. She says it's gonna be one of our songs. I don't know, let's take a look at it. Does it look like one of our songs? What would this sound like to you? I don't know if that's one of our songs, Edwina. That looks like one of our patterns. I bet we could play that pattern. Let's try it together. So, fa, mi, re, do. That's just our pattern. That's not a song that we sing in class. Let's make it a little bit trickier. She wants us to change it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move these over. She wants me to make some room. Look, think, sing, and sign. Look, think, sing, and sign. Let's see. Sing it out loud. Let's sing it out loud. So, fa, mi, re, mi, do. I bet we could play that one too. You ready? Put our hand in C position. So, fa, mi, re. Baby step up, skip down to do. I'm not sure if that's one of our songs yet. She wants me to change one more thing. Does that look like bugs? What bugs does that look like? Beetle, beetle, bug, bug. <gasps> that does sound like one of our songs. Beetle, beetle, bug, bug. That's the game that we just played with our friend. <gasps> she did teach us a new song. Have so much fun playing. Have so much fun playing. What song is that? It's Bounce and Roll. Where is that in our books? Let's open up in our books to page 15. She is helping us figure out the first notes of our song. Check it out. Do I see the beetle, beetle, bug, bug? Let's try playing that. We can look at it in our books on page 15. Here we e go. Five, four, three, two, three, one. <gasps> Let's do it again and say the bugs. Beetle, beetle. Bug, bug. That's so cool that she's helping us figure out how to play the songs in our class. Okay, this week, I want you just to keep working on those notes and then the very next five notes. Do you see those? It starts on a three finger. And then how does it move? It looks like it goes baby step down, baby step up, baby step up, baby step up. Do you think you could practice just that first line of music this week? You can show it off for your online teacher and keep practicing it, and then we can learn some more on it for next week. Okay, while we're still in our books, I'm gonna have you turn back a page to page 12, and then I want you to grab your magnet board and your red solfege magnets, and I'm going to clean up what Edwina was having us do up on here on our board. And we are going to play our primary chords. Do your fingers remember how to play the primary chords? We're going to float 
our bubble hands into C position, and we are going to play this song together. Play with just your right hand. Your left hand can hang out there, but we're going to do just right hand only. You ready? Here we go. This is the red chord. Blue is next I send. Yellow is the chord that leads us back to red. How'd you do? Let's try it with our left hand. This time we won't do it with the music because I want to go a little bit slower with the left hand. Let's try that again. Let's start with our left hand. Five, three, one. Here we go. This is the red chord. Stretch your thumb and add your two. Blue is next, I said. Ooh, how are we going to play that yellow chord? Stretched out our three and our five. Yellow is the chord that leads us back to red. We know how to get back to our red chord. I love it. Now, right now, when we're playing that red chord, it looks like this. We have our do and our me and our so. But do you remember last year when we would sing our triangles and we would mix them up and sometimes we would sing me so do. If I take this do and bump it up to there, do you think I still have a red chord? I do. I still have do, me, so. They're just mixed up. Me, so, do. I want your eyes to look on the bottom of page 12 for just a minute. We're not going to play this together, but I want you to see that this is kind of how our triangles are when we mix them up on our triangles. This is what it would look like in our book. Check it out. Is it a red chord? This is the red chord. It still is because I can still see the do, mi, so, but it's going to get a little bit mixed up. That's going to be so fun that we could mix it up with our voices, and now we're going to learn how to mix it up with our fingers when we play it. That's going to be tricky. That's going to be so fun to do. Okay, are you ready for a new puppet show? This one is a fun one. We are going to have to go off to the magical land of Problemia. Have you ever heard of such a kingdom? I think we're going to need to use some magic to get there. Can you stand up with me? And I think we're going to have our magic snaps to get to the puppet show. Are you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> we landed in the magical land of Problemia. We're in a tower. I think this is the tower where the princess lives. The princess is trying to get ready for the ball tonight, but she's been having a problem trying to get ready. See if you can figure out what the problem is. Can you tell? The princess is trying to get ready, but there's a dragon outside her window, and he is making her scared. Can you hear how he flaps his wings? Did you hear him make her scream? He keeps scaring her. It's hard to get ready for the ball if he keeps making her scream. He's going to call in her royal guard and he's going to say, Dragon, leave her alone. Keeps making her scream. Do you hear all the time she screams? I think he finally made him go away, so she's all ready to go to the ball. We're in the ballroom! Do you see the prince dancing? Can her princess, do you hear her dancing around in her dress? Sometimes she comes together and she dances with the prince. The prince likes to bow, he bows the other way, and then he dances with the princess. Can you hear how she dances? Do you hear? The king. The queen. He's lower. She's higher. And they like to dance together. Can you 
in her dress. Do you hear? Can you make him turn? He bows. He bows to the right. She had a fun time at the ball. She's gonna head back to the tower. I think it's time to get ready for bed. Can you hear how he flaps his wings? It's hard to get to bed. Do you think he'll let her go to bed tonight? The night's telling that dragon, leave her alone. She wants to go to sleep. Do you hear all the time she screams? Last time, dragon. Leave her alone. It's time to go to bed. Do you think he finally scared him away at the end? I love that puppet show. Do you know who my most favorite puppet is? This girl. She's actually the trickiest, the princess when she screams. Listen very carefully this week to see if you can hear all of the times she screams at that dragon. Okay, I think we're ready to go back to the class. You ready? Such a fun puppet show. Thank you so much for singing with me today and playing with me today and reviewing so many things today. We did a lot on our first day of Purple Magic. Can you say goodbye with me? Let's say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye. I'll see you next week. Let's take a look at our homework to see what you're working on. We are on Purple Magic lesson number one today. And on your homework, hey, it's all of the spaces in the treble clef. And there might be some of our middle notes in there too. Don't forget over here to be practicing those flashcards that we unbounded together. And make sure you're doing the white key. Do a review of those. It's so good to get those just really solid right now and then you're all set. And when you practice, put a little check mark every time you do something on the practices just to tally up all the times that you're playing together. So fun. Thank you for singing with me. I'll see you next week. Let's play music.